Okay, it's Dave again, the train man, and we're going to do a little more cooking for you. Today, I'm going to make linguine carbonara, and I'm going to say the right way. The reason why I'm saying that is, most people, you go to these diners and other places, I can show you pictures of stuff that I've taken. They use cream, and honestly, it's not supposed to be made with cream. It's supposed to be made with eggs. So we're going to make it with eggs today to get the creaminess. So uh, you're going to put... Um, I'm going to put some pancetta in there. Now, this is a nice piece here that I got. I'm going to chop that up. It doesn't use any olive oil. After a while, we put some on, but in, when, for frying, you don't use any olive oil. You don't use any chili peppers or anything like that. You just basically use the linguine. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure our linguine is boiling here. Yep, boiling. And, woohoo! And we're going to put in a fair amount of that in here. Now, let me see if I get the right amount out. This is always a problem. They all want to come out at once. They all want to get cooked. I say, go like this here. And now watch. You take it and you twist it like that there, right? And when you put it in the pot, watch what happens. Woo! And it goes around in a circle, see? All right, and then you just kind of wait for it to go down and get in there. All right. I'm going to put it all in. Why not? Man, I'm having all kind of problems with this stuff. Well, you know, what can I tell you? All right, you get it, and you can do it this way too. You can just kind of put it in like this and push down on it as it gets soft, and it goes in, goes into, you know, goes into. Goes into goes out to. Put that in there. Here, look, what the heck are you messing around with? Just dump it in there. All right. Don't get fancy. We ain't no, you know, Michelin star place here. Imagine that. Michelin star. Michelin. They're, they're tires, for God's sake. They're tires. And they're giving stars out for making food with tires. Like, I mean, what's the food taste like tires? I don't know. It's a bunch of bull. Oh, by the way. I always got to start off with a good glass of wine. All right, prime pan. And you got a little, little salt in the water. Got a little salt in the water. Because we're going to need that water. You always use the water. You put in your in your mixture. And I'll uh, use this thing here. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to go to like seven, eight minutes for that. We've got to get it all off the bottom here. Man, we've got we to bring it back to a boil. All right. I'm going to put the top back on. That helps. Just leave it off a little bit like that. All right. Now. Now, I said we're not going to use olive oil, but we are a little bit, just to get the thing started. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. Just a little bit. That's even too much. Dump some of that out. Wait a minute. All right, that's good. That's even too much. Go heck with it. Okay, now we're going to chop up the pancetta. And you cut it in about quarter-inch slices. Like that. Now pancetta, basically, is bacon, and you can use bacon. All right, now you chop it up this way, halfway, like a little stripsy, and then I'm going to cube it. Three, make three pieces out of it. What is that noise I hear in the background? Watch it, stuff's hot, man. All right, now it's going to boil. That's it. All right. Uh, it's still like, you want to make it a little bit, like it says, to cook it for 10 minutes. Cook it for 8 minutes, because you're going to cook some of it in a pot. All right, after we got rid of that fiasco, 
Now we're going to cut up the pancetta. Just chop it up. And we save that for later. Okay, now you just bring them together like this here and you cube them up. Okay, that's all. No rocket scientry here, my friends. No rocket scientry. Just cut them up. Make them cubes. Don't cut your finger. Hold your fingers under and all that nonsense. You want to find out how to do that right? Look at the other guys cooking. They'll show you. I think you already know that. Okay. Now, let me see. I got this on. No, I ain't got that on. I ain't even got it on. Okay. I'm going to check the pasta again. Make sure it ain't overcooking. I'll just let it simmer in there for a while. Yeah, it's cooking. Oh. Yeah. Looks like it's ready. All right, now you get your pancetta. And you put them in. Ah, see, that's all going to cook down, you know. You don't need no salt because the salt you are ready. And we're going to put a little pepper later, but no salt now. Okay, so we're going to cook these. And we'll cook them on about a medium high. That's good. Now, in the meantime, in the meantime, you got to take some eggs. And I need another bowl. Get another bowl here. That works. And you just need one whole egg, yolk and whites, and then three yolks. Okay, that's the one whole egg. Now we got to do the yolks. And what you do there is you break it. All right, and you do it over the bowl, and you just do this. Look. Right through your hands, see? Now, it helps really to have a, an egg that's a little um, warmer. These are, you know, we're sitting in the fridge there for a while. So, uh, ah, we got it. We're good. Get this stuff out of here so you put it on your fingers. So. Get off of there! Get off of there! I'm gonna smack you. I swear to God, get off! Alright, so we got all that done. We'll put that on the side, we don't need that no more. Alright, now, wash your hands off. Okay, good. Alright, now, back to this. What you do now is you get some cheese and you mix cheese in it. And you put about, about that much. Okay, see? A little bit there. And then you mix this up here. Now, see, now a lot of people, the myth is they use, um, they use green to make the carbonara. Now that's the, you know, the cheating way, really. You got to use egg with, with cheese. Check this again. Now you don't use, you lose, You can use a little bit of salt, you can use a little bit of salt, just a pinch, like look, look, a pinch, 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 okay, and then you put pepper, put some pepper, I use this here, what the hell's the difference, okay, now, I mix it up a little bit more, okay, that's ready to go, I have another drink, Whoa! Wow! I'm gonna get burned now. At least it's not gonna be splattering all over the place. That's just about ready. Another minute, it'll be good. Another minute. Another minute. We're almost done with this, actually. I made up a little asparagus here a little bit earlier just to. Uh, just from the other night, I still got some left over. And, um, all right, let me see what we got. All right. All right, now. Now you turn down the heat now. Turn down the heat. Now, that might be. You got to get off the heat, actually, for a minute or two. You got to get off the heat for a minute. Just got to get that cool down. Okay, now, 
Let me see. Take that out. Put the pasta right in the pot with it. Drain it. That's gonna do that because of the, you know, that's just what it does. Right here, right here. And you mix in these eggs here. Put it right in there. And you can't do it over the heat because it'll scramble on you. You know? All right, now you mix it up. Just mix it. Mix it all up. We'll get the get the bacon in the pancetta later. Keep mixing it. Keep mixing. Need a little pasta water. Need a little bit of pasta water there. A little bit of pasta water. Maybe one more. It, is, it helps it cream it. Okay, mix them up again, another mix job. Oh man, look at that, it's making cream in there, you won't believe it. It's like white, just like the cream. Okay. Put that in the sink. Turn this off. Okay, and you've got to hit it with now a little Parmesan. A little Parmesan cheese. Now this is Parmesan and Reggiano. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Beauty must. Okay, now the last and final thing, you got to put some pepper. Now, I previously did some crack in here, crack pepper, and you put that on there. It kind of did. Okay, and there you go. There you go. Linguini carbonara, made with pancetta, linguini, of course, an egg, and Parmesan cheese. Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, anybody can cook, even me.